In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a looping video sequence inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So before we jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, it's really important that we have the correct footage. Now, the footage that we need for this video is basically a static shot of you doing something in the camera. And it's really important that you allow yourself enough room to create this looping effect. So the first step is to put your camera onto a tripod and make sure you're filming somewhere where the light isn't going to change too much and make sure there's no background movement because we're going to be doing some masking. And when we're masking, if there's changes in the light or if there's movement in the background, you're going to see that when we start to mask these clips together. So mount your camera to a tripod, frame up your shot, and then you just want to run into the frame and do an action. As you can see in my example, I'm coming in from the screen right I'm sitting down on the left and then I'm stepping up. Now, the reason why I've done this action is because when I walk into the scene, I sit down on the left. As the character on the left is starting to get up, I can create this looping effect. And that means I've got one character always coming in and coming out at the same time. Now, it's really important that they're not crossing at any particular moment because if they do cross, it means we're going to have to take this into After Effects and do some rotoscoping and we just don't want that stress and hassle. We're going to keep it nice and simple and keep the characters separate. Of course, it's really important as well to note that you might need a clean plate for this. And your clean plate is basically just the empty frame. There's no one, nothing in the frame. So with all of that said and done, let's jump into Adobe Premiere and we'll begin with the editing process. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe Premiere and this is my clean plate here. I'm just going to toss this aside to the right. And then this right here is my loop. So as you can see, I'm coming in from here sitting down on the left, and then I get back up again. Now, what I want to happen here is as this character comes and sits down, this character back here should be walking in. So we'll create this endless looping effect. So the same character is coming in, sitting down and getting up again. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to create a mask around this first character. So we want the mask to follow this movement. So it's going to come here, follow this character, and then go across to the left. So we're just going to pull the timeline down just so we can see what we're doing. We'll go to the very beginning. So just around here, we'll zoom out and then we'll go to opacity and select the freeze your bezier tool. Now we're just going to draw a mask around our subject like this. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. Now we'll go a second to the right or maybe half a second to the right. And we'll just move that mask over to the left to follow the action of this character like this. Then we'll move another half second over towards the right. So the character should be sitting down now. We're just getting ready to sit down. There you go, like so. Then we'll go over to the right again. Just update that one more time. And then you just basically just want to follow the character off screen during this action like this. There you go. So the character's gone off screen now. You can take that mask all the way off screen now like this. So what we've done there is we've created this mask around the character, which means only the character is going to be in frame. That means when we duplicate this, we can have multiple characters on at the same time. So essentially what we can do now is we can duplicate that footage and offset the top layer. So in order to duplicate on Mac, you can just hold down option, drag the footage up to video layer two, let go and then let go of option and that would duplicate. Or alternatively, you can just copy and paste the normal way. So Command C, Command V or Control C, Control V, depending on what system you're on. So with that said and done, let's just offset this second video clip over to the right. And we'll play that back, see how that looks. That looks good, although the problem is at the moment, there's a bit of an overlap here. So I'm just going to push this over to the right. Play this back. There you go. That looks really good. So essentially all we can just do now is just keep copying and pasting these two layers. So you can see there is a 3.7 second delay between this first clip and the second clip. So what you want to do is just copy and paste those. So I'm just going to copy and paste those onto video layer three and four. We'll push this off to the right. So we've got this delay again. So three, 307 we want. That's 311 at the moment. So we'll just come back on ourselves a few frames. And now if we go back to the beginning, we'll zoom in on fit so that we can actually see what we're watching now. You should see that we've got four of this same character just looping over and over again. So first character comes in, 
second character comes in, third character comes in, and the fourth character comes in. Although, as you can see, the problem at the moment is you can see this mask against this black background. So what we need to do here is we need to add the clean plate onto the background. So we're just going to select all of these. We're just going to drag this up onto video layer two. And we're just going to grab our clean plate and we'll drag that to the very beginning. As you can see though, unfortunately, I didn't film a clean plate for long enough. It's only around six seconds. So what we'll do with that instead is we'll just freeze frame it. So we're just going to go roughly halfway through that clean plate. We'll right click. Then we'll go down to insert frame hold segment. We'll select that. And as you can see, we've got this segment here, this freeze frame here. So we'll just delete the first part of that clean plate. We'll delete the last part of that clean plate. And this is our freeze frame layer here. So we'll just extend this over to the right. Then we'll just extend the left over towards the very beginning. Feel free to nudge these back up, by the way, because we've got a cut here. So nudge these back up to the cursor to close that gap off. And now when we play this back, you should notice we've got this really awesome looping effect. That looks really good, although at the moment you can see we've got this line here from the mask created. And the reason why is because I didn't follow my own advice. I filmed outside and the light changed just a little bit and it created this harsh line on the mask. Now it is very subtle here, so I can fix this by just increasing the mask feather. So I'll go onto that first loop layer or the last loop layer that I'm currently selected and we'll increase the mask feather to 100. Enter that and there you go. That smooth that out a lot better. So all you need to do is just work through all of those individual layers. We'll change the mask feather to 100 on all four of those loops. And you should have a really nice smooth looping effect now created. Of course, though, once you've adjusted the mask feather, you've got two things to look out for. One, make sure that it actually has smoothed out the edge. If it hasn't smoothed out the edge enough, then increase the mask feather again. But you also have to be careful that your mask isn't going to now cut into your character. Because we've increased the feather, the mask area is a little bit larger than it was before, which means if it was close to your character before, then they're going to start falling into that mask edge and you'll start to lose part of the subject. So make sure that there's plenty of room between the subject and the mask edge. But once you've done all of that, we can just play this back. And as you can see, we've got this really cool looping video sequence. Now, of course, you don't have to do this exact same sequence of someone entering the frame, sitting on a bench and then leaving again. Of course, you don't have to do that. There are so many other variations of this effect that you can do. You just need to be creative and come up with a really awesome idea. So there you go. That is the basics of how you create a looping sequence inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.